Welcome to the Dorkfish Steve channel on YouTube and today we are doing an e-juice review on two very special e-juices here. One is called the, it's called Remix. These, this is by the company White Rhino. I have it in the six milligram. This one is called Sub-Zero. For you menthol lovers out there, you're in for a treat. The second one that we're reviewing is called Candy Rainbow with a K. Six milligram by White Rhino. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a rundown of what I think on this juice. First of all, as you can see, the label on this thing, on these bottles, is quite amazing. I've reviewed several juices and I must say that the label on this e-juice is one of the finest labels I have seen on any bottle I've reviewed. It is a mix of kind of an, uh, a Christmassy kind of aluminum, multicolored, and the font is really nice. It's very well done. There's a barcode. There's a little Made in the USA American flag, as you can see. And uh, there's some text here, which, forgive me, I have a hard time seeing because I'm old, as you all are fully aware. And it says, what is Remix? White Rhino Liquid has been <laughs> remixed with some of the most exquisite extracts around. Close your eyes and envision your paradise and with White Rhino Remix we can take you there. Savor, savor your time, sit back and relax and drip with the most premium e-liquid on the market. You're worth it. I'm worth it, man. Very nice little statement. I won't bother you with reading all of this. I'll show you the bottle in close up here. You'll see it. But there's a really nice warning about nicotine and proper age and the FDA. There's a follow us on all the social channels. I mean, this thing has got everything. It's really a well designed label. I'm very pleased with it. Bottle comes with a childproof cap on both of these, and it comes with the glass dripper which if you drip you must have a glass dripper it's just a lot easier okay so I congratulate them on the bottle on the bottle I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10 the only reason it's not a 10 is because it's not it's not uh, 50 um, caliber proof <laughs> honestly I'd give no one a 10 okay this is this is the best I've seen as far as labels go this is the the Cadillac of labels okay on these guys all right now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. So what, what's the flavor like? Okay, so the way I like to, uh, to scale this is between one to five, okay? One is you can barely taste the flavor. Two, you're getting up there. Three, it's okay. Four, it's really darn good. Five, it's, it's really excellent. You can taste it in every puff. It's, it's really clear and crisp, and it has a nice effect, meaning that there's no big weird aftertaste. There's no uh, waxy feeling that you get from some e-juices. Okay, so what do I rate this on flavor? They happened, okay, flavor is subjective, okay? Some people like certain things, some people don't. I can't stand coffee vapes. I can't stand cereal milky vapes, personally. They make me ill. They sent me something called Candy Rainbow. This is right in my wheelhouse, okay? So I'm going to be a little biased here because, yes, I love candy flavor vapes, man. So... <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, flavor is a 5 out of 5. This is excellent flavor if you're into that kind of thing, okay? For me, it's a 5 out of 5. Love the flavor. It persists. It, there's no lag. There's no waxy flavor after the fact. This is excellent flavored juice. So you may say, okay, well, do I get to comp is it a compromise on, um, on vapor production? I would say, once again, I don't believe so. And I'll tell you why. It's because... It's really good. I mean, they've done a good job with their mix here, okay? I'm just putting some in right now, and I'll show you what we got. I am running a 24-gauge twisted single coil. Runs at 0 0.18. There's 0 0.1. It's real low. Cartel mod. Clone, of course, because I'm cheap. And uh, toe batty, heady clone, because, yeah, like I said, I'm cheap for now, anyway because I have to buy all this camera equipment. All right, so let's give it a vape, see what we got. I got a full battery in here. Yep, just put it in. Mm. 
Very respectable. And I do believe this is 50-50 PGBG too. I may stand corrected, but uh, I do believe that is the case. I'm VG sensitive, so I know if something's got a lot of VG in it, okay? All right, one more time. Just for clarification, I am vaping the Candy Rainbow version here, okay? E-juice, I would buy this any day of the week. I recommend it. If you like candy vapes, if you like clean, fresh, refreshing vapes, rock this stuff, okay? Made in America, man. Made in America. Get it. Anyway, I like it. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you won't if you don't like this kind of vape, but I'll tell you what. I recommend it. It's good stuff, okay? So let's take a look at Sub-Zero. Now, let me make something really clear, okay? I have a hard time with menthol vapes. I am very sensitive, okay? But I did try this. It's really, I mean, I know people that love menthol, okay? And the thing, the wonderful thing about vaping is in the cigarette world, you're limited, right, by certain menthol uh, flavors. You can only get a certain type. You know, it's not very, it's not a whole lot of spectrum to go with, right? But with vaping, the sky's the limit, okay? This is called Sub-Zero. I'm going to just take another quick vape to clean this out a bit. All right, let's toss in some Sub-Zero. Let me explain to you first that, uh, like I said, <laughs> I'm not the lover of menthol, okay? So I'm gonna put just a little bit here. I've only gone through probably a couple milliliters of this, honestly, and because I, I honestly can't do menthol. Uh, but I wanted to try it anyway. You know what? It's sorry, guys. It's not bad for. I mean, it's great for menthol. Okay, the flavor is just as good as, as anything else of the candy uh, rainbow. The menthol flavor is a uh, refreshing, calm menthol. It's not overpowering, and trust me, I know this because I don't normally do menthol. The flavor persists. It's, it's just good stuff. You can tell that they really have worked on their flavoring to make sure that they're getting the result that they want, okay? You can tell that. It's really clear. I would say, uh, like I said, am I qualified to really review menthol? I'm not a menthol uh, vapor, but I can tell you from a flavor perspective and the persistence of the flavor and the vapor production, this is definitely up there in the four to five range. It's got to be. Five being excellent, okay? I would say it's between four and a five, and that's only because I'm not a menthol vapor, like I said three or four times already. Sorry. So, my verdict on white rhino, rhino vapor is that it's excellent, okay? You can tell that they put pride in what they do. They've made an excellent logo. They've made an excellent label for their juice. They use quality, child-proof caps. Big bonus in my world. And, you know, it's an American company. Okay? Give it a try uh, and see what you think. And comment. Let me know what you think about it. Maybe you uh, have some other opinions or uh, some other flavors that you've tried from White Rhino and you want to share that. Please feel free to share. I'm going to put some links down below uh, for their uh, social stuff because they've been very um, they're very social. They're in the vape community in a big way. So let's click on these links and let's find out what they're all about. Uh, I would also say if you like the video, please like it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe. It really helps me and I appreciate everything uh, my subscribers and viewers do for me. And I want to tell you that coming up next on the Dorkfish Steve channel, we're going to be doing a newscast of the FDA regulations that are pending and status. And we're going to be looking at some key articles in the fight for us to maintain our vaping rights. So stay tuned, and we'll see you next time on the Dorkfish Steve Show on YouTube. Have a great weekend. See you next time. Peace.